the District of Columbia, which is always solidly democratic and has an ethnic and racial composition that might be very unfavorable to the um, uh, Trump administration. All pretty obviously true, but truth is no defense these days. California Congresswoman Maxine Waters was quick to lash out at Dershowitz as a racist Trump fan, despite his decades of donating to Democrats. He went on to talk about the ethnic and racial makeup of, of the district uh, as, as stacking the get deck against Donald Trump. Do you think it's unfair to say that? Oh, it's Grant absolutely Curry unfair. What Washington, he's simply saying, you know, all of those black people are there and they don't like Trump. And so he's not going to get a fair trial. And so they should take it out of that jurisdiction. It shouldn't be there to begin with. I don't like that. Uh, and I'm surprised that Alan Dershowitz is talking like that. And we will not stand for it. We will push back against that because that is absolutely racist. Alan Dershowitz now joins us. Professor, it is, uh, it is good to see you. Now, I've heard a lot of craziness lately and all these barbs and insults being thrown at people, but that kind of took the cake when you were merely making a comment about the, uh, the way juries operate, grand juries operate in different jurisdictions. And yet a Democrat now has branded you a racist who's a really very popular Democrat right now. What, what's your response to this madness? Well, I learned about jury selection and the role of race and ethnicity in politics from my friend and colleague Johnny Cochran. Um, and of course, when Johnny Cochran tragically died, uh, Maxine Waters proposed that Congress pass special legislation honoring him for his great sensitivity regarding race. If I had said that race is not a factor in the justice system, she would have called me a racist. She tosses around that term so promiscuously that it dilutes the term. She hurts her own cause because she's crying wolf. If everybody's a racist, then nobody's a racist. If I'm a racist, then, you know, what, what is she going to call real, real racist? I mean, I marched in, in the South. I was involved in the civil rights movement all of my life. And if she can call me a racist. And as I said uh, in my interview, being black does not give you a license to call somebody a racist, just like being Jewish doesn't give you a license to call people anti-Semites unless they actually are racists or anti-Semites. And for her to use that term, when I made an utterly uncontroversial statement, I mean, there isn't a criminal lawyer, prosecutor, defense attorney who would disagree with the statement that Mueller got an advantage by moving the case to uh, the District of Columbia, that he has a better chance of getting a favorable jury pool in the District of Columbia than he would in Virginia. Everybody would agree with that. It's a simple statement of fact.